let, let me quickly start the demo session of uh, retail and commerce as a functional uh, role one. Guys, please go to mute. If anyone want, if you have any question, right, you can unmute and you can talk. Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks so much for your uh, cooperation. So uh, let me quickly introduce about myself. Then we'll quickly jump onto the uh, demo and agenda. What kind of uh, uh, training program we have planned. We'll, I'll try to provide the detailed information. Then we can discuss one to one if you have any questions or if you have any expectation, right? We can discuss and we can uh, do proceed further. Guys, uh, myself Uday, I'm having the 12 plus years experience into the DD65 retail as well as into the LS retail and multiple ERP have been bought. So it's a overall experience into the 12 plus. It's a total I've been working into the retail domain, but I have exposure into the supply chain management as an additional secondary skill set. So currently I'm working for the one of the MNC as a solution architect for the retail and commerce as a functional consultant role. So coming to the training program, right? I have been delivered more than 36 batches, which has been including of your Navision, LS retail combination and AX retail and including about DD65 retail and commerce. So uh, coming to the my this training program agenda, right? We'll be following as a Microsoft standards course content. That means we'll be dealing about our how the DT65 retail and commerce modules will be working. Your retail, we have the call center, we have the e-commerce. So we have been sharing the detailed course content. I'll be sharing this real course content also to everyone, guys. We will be discussing each and every topic in detail. So let me just go him. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Right. So we have the specific course content. It's not like we the randomly we pick the course content we are not doing. It is in previous, there is an MB340 uh, retail certification. Right now there is, uh, they have been depreciated this uh, uh, certification, but the course content which is following as MB340. So where we are dealing with this in basics plus advanced training. That means the person who doesn't know about the retail component will be discussing theoretically in detail about in each and every topic. Then we'll try to configure the sequence. So consider your retail functional consultant, where you have to start your project. What is your start step? Before starting, this is there a prerequisite, right? So we'll be discussing about each and every component in detail theoretically. Once you understand the concept, then we'll try to configure into the system in D365 FNO application. The same thing, whatever the configuration we did, we'll try to execute. That means as a configuration, we are giving as input to the system. But output, we have to execute, right? So if you're talking about, uh, I hope everyone is having the D365, having the uh, uh, any model, either finance or SCM. Hope everyone is having some experience, guys. If new, then it's request to the prerequisites. I can just say D365. Any model is fine as a finance or SCM or like your manufacturing or like AWMS or HR, any model. You should the basic knowledge about your D365. If you are trying to learn the D365 retail concept. Guys, clear? Anyone having any doubt? Uh, no, I'm sure I, it's actually good. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm just considering everyone is having the D365, any model experience. I'm just, with this consideration, I'm just trying to take this as demo program into the going further, right? So here, what? What is our major agenda in D365? Hope everyone is having some SCM or finance or another experience. You might be seeing how to create the company and how to create the purchase order process and how to create the product information, how to create the sales orders. And SCM, I'm talking about SCM. The retail also, it is dependent on your SCM. That means on top of your SCM component, the retail has been inbuilt. That means if you wanted to create sales order, right? So where you're getting the products, the products, it is sitting into the product information management model. So with the help of the product information management model, you can able to create the purchase order, sales orders, transfer orders, any general posting into the D365 FNO application as part of your SCM, SCM model, SCM 7. Whereas retail, we are taking as top of your SCM component, we will add additional features. Suppose you have created some item, some, some iPhone as item you have created. So this item you can able to purchase or do the sale or any activity from your D365 FN application as part of your SCM. But if you're expecting the same product, if you are if you wanted to extend to your retail, 
So there is some additional setup is involved. You don't need to do the scratch, which is already available. The product you can extend some retail feature. You can modify some configuration. Then you can able to use the same item for your retail business also. Yes. So again, you might raise the question: What is meant by the retail? Right. We are talking about the retail, 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 retail and commerce. Right. What is meant by the retail and commerce? The simple terminology, guys. Simple terminology. Whereas your SCM is involved, your purchase and inventory, sales and other information. But your retail, it is majorly focused for your sales. Right. So the simple terminology we can just say retail is nothing but your sale. Sale who to whom will be doing the sales? Customer, right? Sorry for interrupting. Could you please add me? Sorry, dear. One yes, second. Uh, one person mm -hmm. was waiting. Yes, he is. Sorry, sorry. So, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry, no issues, no issues, no issues. Right, guys. What is meant by the sales? Sale means if you are talking about SCM terminology, when you are trying to create sales order in FNM application, the first to check what is that? You will be selecting a customer. When you click on the new sales order, you have to create the customer. This sales order is creating for which customer? That means without customer, you can't able to make the you can't able to create the sales order as part of your standard SEM concept, right? The same way, retail also is the simple terminology is a sale, consuming the consuming your goods, either physical goods or service or anything. So, if you are talking about FNO application, we can take any company example. Lenskart is a company, or like you can just say some Reliance companies. But when you're talking about the retail, it is real time. Every people, including me, including you, have been faced these kind of scenarios. Let's talk about the simple terminology. We have the sales. In sales, also we can do this activity into the different manners, different channels. That means consider Navin is a customer. Navin is a customer. Physically, he is visiting some big bazaar store. Or Nailagiri store or Lane supermarket. When he is visited as a customer, Navin, what you will observe? You might be seeing, you might be touching the product. If you wanted to buy this sugar or rice or anything, what you will do? Physically, you will visit to the store and you can touch the product. You can feel the product. Yes. Right? So yes. it's not only for the uh, FMCG product. If you are going to the any fashion store, Right, if you're going to the any fashion store, Raymond or anything, you will go to the store physically and you will touch the product. You will see the product, whether it's an XL size or like M size or L size, red color or black color, whether quality is good, right? Price is good or discount is good. Physically, you will touch and feel and you can buy the product. Right? That means as a customer, you're visiting to the store and you are touching the product and you are taking the product and you are purchasing this particular product. That particular physical process will be calling as a retail. That's nothing but your physical stores. That's nothing but your big bazaar, more supermarket, D Mart. These all kind of stores will be calling as a physical stores or retail stores. Guys, clear with this example, or if you have any confusion, right? This is a very, very, very important concept into the retail as a functional consultant. If you know this, what and all things. What and all functionality will be supporting by the D365 out of box solution. Then, on top of that, again, there is n number of configuration we have to do to perform this operation. We just mentioned Navin is going to the store and he's trying to purchase something and he can able to pay the amount, he can get the goods. There's a simple cycle. But to achieve this cycle, you have to perform a lot of activities. There is a prerequisite, there is a lot of configuration. That we will discuss going further. But if you know the outline, what is meant by the retail, retail stores, what is meant by the physical stores, then it is easy to give the input. If you know the output, then we can able to give the in multiple inputs. Guys, anyone having any question under the retail store as a physical stores examples or concept wise? Okay, let me ask you the one question to anyone. Suppose as a customer, I wanted to, I wanted to buy something as a fashion product. Physically, if I'm going to the store, right? Physically, I'm going to the store. I wanted to purchase some shirt or pant. 
right if i want to go the first, if i want to purchase any shutter pan i need to visit to any physical store right is there any other option options is available no guys online also, if you want on, online there but physically i have to go to the store yes exactly if you are physically means there is only one option that is nothing but your retail stores that will be calling yes. as a brick and mortar stores so in the microsoft terminology will be calling as a brick and mortar stores in generic terminology will be calling as a physical stores in retail terminology will be calling as a retail stores but stores concept they removed they are trying they are currently they are calling as a retail channel guys retail channel online channel call center channel so there is no concept called as a stores clear Yes. Right. So coming to the next one. See, suppose as a customer, I don't want to visit to physical, not not to visit to the physically, but I wanted to purchase some product. Then we have two different processes, two different other process. One is online. Online in the sense, if you are taking as an Amazon website or Flipkart website, what you are doing, you are sitting in anywhere in the world. You will try to open the application and you will try to search the product. Then you will try to buy some products from the online. Right. where you will not be seeing you will not be touching any product everything is a visualization you can able to see the image of the shirt image of the pant then you can able to select which color shirt which size shirt which style shirt right you can able to select over the website itself then you can able to place the order where customer is not visiting any physically store there is no physical store also everything it is online that process will be calling as a e-commerce business that will be calling as a online channel clear guys any confusion guys please be interactive if you are if you are understood the concept well and good yes, if yes. you are unable to so understand i will give you multiple the, example yeah we are yes, uh, giving the uh, uh, thumbs in symbol in this call so Oh sorry oh, sorry not... sorry I'm really sorry guys I'm unable to no, see no. that message actually yeah okay okay, okay okay thank you yeah the next one so in online again we have the multiple subsections here multiple sections in sense suppose Navin is a customer as a customer he wanted to buy some one shirt or one pant when he's decided one shirt or one pant what he can do he can log into the website and he can try to purchase the product and he can provide his delivery address. home address or like office address or friends home address which our address you want it expect in delivery he can select the particular product select the address and he can pay over the online itself that is a simple business to customer that will be calling as a b2c b2c business to customer consider we have abdul abdul is a is not a customer he is also running on business but what he is trying to do he will buy bulk products from the company consider we are running from the reliance company so uday is running the reliance company i am doing i am i am manufacturing a lot of products i can sell this products to the navin as a business to customer b2c website At the same time i can sell this bulk products to the abdul also that means you can create b2c website also you can create b2b website also b2b website it is for the wholesale wholesale business partners b2b business to business i am running business as a reliance abdul is running his, his own business abdul fashions right what he can do he can buy bulk quantity from me and he can put some margin and he can sell this products from his website also from he can sell from his particular physical stores also that is called as a business to business so with the help of the online channel we can maintain business to customer sales also business to business sales also with the help of your e-commerce channel only clear guys yeah i want yes. to ask you something to that yes Yes, about this please, online please. channel there will be a third party app if right you will be there right in the android or ios whatever the mobile mobile apps are hmm. out there because i am working for walmart okay i i have a app in my phone 
I may be to be personal. I may be to be also. Okay. Okay. So okay. the thing is, they have the SAP. I mean, the hmm. store itself, they have SAP, okay. and they have okay. been connected to the, this uh, app. So okay. Okay. We, is that kind of anything we have in this online channel that is a third party kind of. No, dear. See, we we in the DT sixty five in retail and commerce, right? We have the out of we will be calling as OOB means out of box functionality in retail okay. and commerce. We have multiple type of sales. One is retail store. We have we just mentioned retail channels, right? Yes, yes. Here yes. we are using as a application called as a store commerce app. Store commerce. This is just application. Like the, uh, the Flipkart. Yes, you can just say uh, we are. You'll you'll be downloading the Flipkart website, a uh, Flipkart app, or like a Flip, uh, Amazon app from your Play Store site. Right? The same mm -hmm. way, you can download this particular commerce app from our D365 application. Then you can use this application for your retail stores. That's nothing but your retail channel sale. This is nothing but your point of sales. Yes, yes. This is from the store level. We'll be using. Who will be using? There is a separate team members will be there, staff. The staff I mean, like also again, there is a there person, is... person exactly. BDA is available in the market. So he will be using this one, right? Store commerce app. Exactly. So we can just say there are a lot of staff number. This business will be using only dedicatedly for your retail channels. That is nothing about your physical stores. Who is using the particular application? It's kind of mobile app. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Right? So we, we discuss in detail about going further, guys. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just asking. We need to configure that one also, sir. Yes, yes. That is our work, na. That is our retail, okay. retail as a retail functional consultant. You're responsible for the end-to-end -end retail operations. You're responsible for the end-to-end -end retail operations. It's more than yes. enough. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, dear. So if you're talking about the e-commerce, so for example, we are if we are having a physical channel, we can. Maintenance with the uh, what you call as uh, retail channel, but if in case of e-commerce, we have yeah. to interact with the uh, websites, right? So it exactly. is directly out of the box. You will be doing the API calls, or is it uh, technical is involved? No, no. See, by default, we have the we have the consumer versus native interfaces. Okay. That means inbuilt connectors. So here, whatever the e-commerce channel you are configuring. We have the separate tools is there where you can able to host your website and you can able to connect your website to the e-commerce channel. Whatever the sale you are performing into the website, automatically the sales will be coming to your FNM application. Mm -hmm. okay. So here there is no additional interface. That means there is no integration is required. If you are using this e-commerce website also as a D365, some of the companies what they will use, FNM they will use as a back office. But e-commerce website they will use as a Shopify. Okay. E-commerce website they will be using as a different application, Salesforce. In such cases, you require as an integration. Understood. That means this is a third-party application, third-party website. But you are trying to integrate with your referral application. That in this case you require as an integration. But if you are using your FN application as well as the e-commerce website also is from the FN uh, the, your retail and commerce level. Then you don't need to. It's a standard native interfaces. Clear. Uh, and one more question. Uh, for yes, example, yes. if you have an item A, if hmm. the inventory is not available in your uh, inventory, for example, hmm. in FNO, uh, hmm. it will automatically get reflected in the website as out of stock or anything like that. This is automatically inventory or. Yes, automatically. Why? Because you are you will be doing this activity from there. We will be calling as a RTS service, real time transaction service. Okay. Right. Okay. So whatever the inventory you are maintaining in FNO application in FNO, consider for item A. Sorry. Item A, you are you are maintaining as inventory for the specific site and warehouse. Right. Suppose you are maintaining as a some ten quantity. This ten quantity has been sold from the e-commerce website. Okay. Right. Immediately, if you are posting, if you are completing this transaction, then mm -hmm. if you are ordering, there is a different concept, guys. Again, I'll not be taking to the in detail right now. If you are placing mm -hmm. order, the order will be reserved. That means inventory okay. will be reserved. Mm -hmm. 
once your order is dispatched then automatically your inventory will be na- it will be removed from this particular inventory it will be zero some you can able to maintain if your inventory is zero if you are not place all the order from the e-commerce website but if your inventory is zero you can place the order from you can able to complete the order from your retail store why because physically stock is available right in system there might be mistakes right you purchased some 100 quantity right but due to some other issues they have done some adjustment or something but your physical quantity still it is lying but system is showing zero quantity since physical quantity is available you can able to sell from your retail but in e-commerce if system stock is zero you can't able to sell it right so going further we'll test it we'll take on real time project real time real time product we'll try to create the inventory with the purchase order we will try to test all the sales process creating the sales order from your retail sales creating the sales order from your creating the sales order from your e-commerce channel creating the sales order from your we have one more channel is there till now we have discussed about retail channel that's nothing but the online channel here your uh, e-commerce we have one more channel called as a call center these three guys i'm talking about only out of box solution without having zero code we can able to perform this operations that means it is already inbuilt functionality has been developed by the microsoft what we are doing based on our customer requirement based on the company requirement we will configure it see suppose if you are developing as a your uh, geo fashion then you will be creating separate store fashion stores then you will do the configuration according to your fashion related industry suppose you are doing implementing as a reliance smart bazaars then there is a fmcg product then you will be configuration is different right where you will be maintaining as a physical like your apples right vegetables where you are maintaining as a weighing products whereas your fashion there is nothing weighing products right everything is a pieces or dozens or we can just say pairs so going further what we will do we will take as a two live project one is fashion another one is in some digital then we'll try to configure the end to end process from scratch to end to end then it is easy to understand see if you are implementing any one retail project any of your industry whether fashion whether digital or whether it is fmcg any project it is same see the concept what we are learning is out of box solution if you are understand about the out of box solution 100 percentage it is easy to implement for the any kind of project if you know the standard feature okay this way this feature will work then you can understand okay this requirement can be fit this this particular feature right so this call center is nothing but let's talk about the business scenario abdul is a customer he is not visiting physical store also he is not visiting your online channel that's nothing but the e-commerce website also but still he want to purchase how he can able to purchase guys anyone can try from call center how can you just give me any real time example you have you been seen any kind of this kind of scenarios i mean like yes, what you have said yeah yeah can yeah, you please, repeat, please. repeat the question sorry yeah as a customer i don't want to visit physical store i don't want to visit online website also but still i'm expecting to purchase something is there any mechanism or any process in real time scenarios have been seen any kind of scenario this kind of scenarios i have faced i mean like a, there is a toll free number is there available for the call center then exactly. we need to call yeah we can call the call center and mm-hmm. we place the order with the uh, caller i mean like a, there is a service will be there right person will be exactly. sitting doing all perfect, this kind of perfect. things perfect perfect let's talk about your big basket so initially big basket what they were done no? they don't have any website initially so they don't have any physical store they don't have any website but they are introduced as a toll free number so whoever the customer wanted to purchase what they can do so they can able to call to the toll free number then the customer service people to you they will be asking about your customer number phone number email id address they will collect all the information then they will take you order over the phone or they will try to 
take the order over the phone. So what item, what kind of items they wanted to, customer wanted to purchase. All the items they will list out and there is a multiple options. They can pay directly via online or they can pay with the cash and deliveries also. But means without visiting physical stores, without visiting online website or the phone call also, you can able to place the orders. That is called as a call center orders. Clear guys? Any confusion yes. under these three type of channels? Retail channel, no. online channel, call center channel? No. So here our training program has been designed. You should be able to learn end to end process of your retail channel, your online channel, your call center channels. Right? So whereas retail and call center channel will be executing 100%. We'll be configuring, we'll be discussing everything. Whereas online channel, we have some limitation. Limitation in the sense, this particular online channel, we can't be able to work out from the, we have the concept called as a tire one, tire two, tire three, tire four. There is a multiple types. That means as a Microsoft dev box, that's the thing about the word demo boxes, where we are able to execute as a retail and call center business 100%. Whereas we were, Whereas e-commerce channels are online channel, if you are executing, the type 2 is mandatory. So type 2 is a minimum. On type 3, type 4, type 5, it will work. But type 2 is a mandatory. So currently, we don't have any type 2 environment for your demo purpose. This is only for the company usage. Right? For like our training, training institutes, we will not be getting this kind of type 2 environment access. But we will be execute, we will be detailed discussion about how to configure the online channel, what kind of prerequisites and what kind of setups you have to perform. Those things will be discussing as part of your online channel. But only thing, you can't able to create new website and you can't able to host this website since we have the tied to limitation. If I'm getting this environment access, guys, I'm surely I'll be executing this process also. But I'm just giving us an upfront, which is possible as part of a training program, we'll be executing. Where we have some limitation, We'll be discussing into the in detail, but execution only having some limitation here. Clear, guys? Any confusions? So, uh, retail commerce will be tier one, or rest will, uh, tier two will be configured. This will, yes. 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 Okay. This will work for the one to five, tier one hmm. to five. But whereas. Based on the business, uh, you, you, you exactly. exactly. So, whereas this online channel, minimum it is starting from the two only. Two to five. Call center, it is also a one to five. If you are having the tire one also, you can able to execute. Tire five also, it will be executed. It is again based on your business load. If you are running so, thousand stores, yeah. So then you will be recommending as a tire five. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. So please, more please, simplify please, please, please. if I understand. Tire one to five, it's kind of a configuration, kind of a, like a use, normal user how using his laptop like a 12 GB, 15 GB kind of thing. Exactly, same, exactly. Same, yeah, same thing will be applicable. 16, minimum for... 16, minimum 16. Yes, yes. yes. Mm. But whereas into the, you are tired to and all the things, right? There is a storage limitation different and your RAM capacity is different and the hosting is different and all those things. Yeah. We will be discussing this uh, tire concept also, guys. We have detail each and every component will be having the detailed information. So in what cases we'll be using the tire one and what cases we'll be using as a tire two, that limitations also is available. We'll discuss those things also. Hmm. Right? So I'll not be taking to the everything into this first session. Let me just give this into the deep. We'll be discussing on what cases we'll recommend tire one, tire two, and all those things. We'll go in further, we'll discuss. Clear, guys? Yes. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So this is this is just into the high level, guys. What we are discussing, type of channels and each and every channel and in these things. So here, what we are discussing outline. But to configure this, there are a lot of configurations available. That means to achieve this output, you have to perform lot of input. That means you have to configure the lot of inputs. Let me just show you. So we here as part of our training program, right? We are majorly focusing for the retail and commerce model. But before processing the retail and commerce model, we may have to understand about your procurement, the product information management model, which is an interdependency. 
without product information management you can't able to run retail sale also make sure that if you are if you are uh, uh, having some time you have to do a lot of hard work into the product information management also if you are not familiar with the sm concept if you are already familiar with the sm concept there is no need to worry about your product information management then on top of that we will be working as inventory management also as i mentioned we are as part of a retail we are not discussing only for the sales we are discussing about the inventory also and now you are trying to purchase but how your inventory is maintaining for your retail store how you are maintaining your inventory for your online channels right when inventory when your sales is consumed then how your reservation is happening when sale is your order is dispatched then how your inventory is reducing right those scenarios also will be discussing deeply so at the same time we will be focusing for your standard out of box features of your inventory perspective also we can able to create purchase order from pos mission this is the latest feature which has been developed by the microsoft so you no need to worry about your procurement you can create directly purchase order from your pos mission you can receive the purchase order from pos mission you can create transfer order from pos mission you can receive the purchase order sorry transfer order from pos mission so there are lot of features which scm is doing the same activity you can perform from the directly from retail also you should not depend on the scm system so that's why microsoft has, microsoft has been whatever the retail related inventory features everything will be discussing so you can able to do the stock counting activity inventory adjustment activities right so which this whatever the things i'm talking about this everything output from the pos mission guys you have to keep in mind so this is the fm application right so this fm application you can able to use from anywhere in the world if you are having the configuration with the region and other thing but whereas your pos mission we have the we have to do some other activity pos mission is something but what guys let me just open the hope everyone might be seeing this pos physical missions let me just show you yes if you are going to the dmart or big bazaar or like any supermarket right when you are bringing some products from where you will be handling you will be going to the billing counter right so billing counter is i think but the point of sale pos in retail terminology will be calling as a point of sale but in generic terminology will be calling as a billing counter so who is who is who is standing in the billing counter there is a person called as a cashier staff will be calling as a employee so in employee also there is a separate categories cashiers will be there sales persons will be there managers will be there supervisors will be there so each and every component as a retail functional consultant you are going to configure it pos mission you are going to create it right who is using the pos mission cashier that's nothing but your employee you are going to create the employee you are going to assign this role whether it's a cashier whether it's a manager whether it's a supervisor whether it's a sales person you are going to based on the business input you are going to create new employee assign the permission right then what he is doing he is scanning the product that means he has to collect the product from the customer and he has to scan the product that means where he is going to do the scanning there is a hardware physically there is a scanner will be there handgun scanner 360 degree scanner 180 degree scanner there is a multiple type of scanner will be available so you are responsible for configuring the hardware also if you are a cm right you are sitting in head office and you are doing the activity but whereas in retail you have to sit in both the activities you have to sit in back office there is something about the fn application where you have to execute all the operations creating the retail channels staff numbers pos terminals devices your printers scanners everything you have to create it At the same time you have to execute these operations also physically your head office in mumbai But your store is running in Hyderabad. You can't able to sit in uh, Mumbai location. You can't able to operate your store. This is first time talking about. You have to visit physically to the store, and you have to install the POS machine, configure the hardware component. Then you have to do the full testing. Then only you can able to perform your day-to-day -day operation. There is a n number of hardware components. So here we are going to learn each and every component. What is meant by the cash dryer? What is meant by the scanner? What is meant by the line display, pole display? dual displays eft devices touch screen terminals card drip card payments receipts right so you don't get confused guys retail is nothing but you were there are a lot of component will be there if you go with the logic you should not think okay there are a lot of things no when you are going to the store 
what are all things doing first thing scanning when you scan what do you are going to scan barcode that means barcode label should be printed the barcode label should be attached to the product the barcode should be linked to the product the barcode should be linked to the price the barcode should be linked to your discounts right everything is interlinked guys when you scan automatically from pws machine you can able to see your pws machine you can able to see your item image item description item quantity item unit of measurement item price item discount item tax item charges everything system can able to fetch but where you are doing the configuration you are doing the configuration to the fnbo level if you properly configure discounts charges your tax values and product prices trade agreement everything the system output it is a very very simple if you are giving proper input automatically you will get the proper output if anything is missing then system won't give us a proper outputs so here we'll be doing as a back office that's when i'm talking about the back office guys don't get confused back office are like a fnv application head office headquarters everything is fnv application only you don't get confused simple term fnv application store means there is a separate application will be there in store means so this all the component will be deploying into the different system different application that's what we are talking as a pos machines so in the pos machines also in older version right there is a modern pos c pos there is a different kind of point of sales is available in older version but in from 37 onwards what they have done they have changed the total structure structure in the sense the naming structure has been changed to store commerce web store commerce app right so that we will discuss deep discussion to the going for the session guys don't get confused right away it's nothing but your simple point of sale billing missions which can be supported to your mobile phones the mobile phone also it will be supporting to your windows it will supporting to your android it will supporting to your ios this kind of all kind of devices it will be supporting by the point of sale mission you can able to log into the tablets you can able to log into your laptop desktop point of sale missions that means and will be supporting multi device clear guys going further we'll discuss don't get confused right away but i'm just giving as a high level or making this outline one what and all things we are going to learn going for the sessions so each and every day we'll take the agenda what is the today agenda what kind of component we'll be discussing we'll try to cover this kind of topics only so then next day again we'll try to quickly recap over what we have discussed in last session then we'll go for the current day today's agenda detail session so each and every day what are the things we are completing i'll be sharing the document also the sharing i'll be sharing as a lot of pptis we have standard microsoft pptis i'll be sharing the all the pptis with you people so that if i'm covering 90% there is a 10% if i'm missing still you can able to go through from the microsoft standard pptis which is in microsoft you can just say this is a mct microsoft certified trainer who will be receiving these pptis from the microsoft i'll be sharing this all the pptis along the pptis we have the lot of documentations documentation sessions we have the course there is the test cases so if you are configuring something if you are trying to implement any project so what kind of level you can able to test it there is a n number of testings you can able to perform it there are a lot of sales types taxes discounts charges right each and everything you can able to test it that will be i'll be showcasing going for the session what we have configured how you can test it see someone should not validate whether whatever the configuration you have done whether it's correct or not you should able to validate yourself whatever the configuration is done whether it's working properly or not if there are any mistakes you can able to rectify it it's immediately it's not like you should not depend on the any other person so so my mo major motive is that whatever the things you are learning you focus 100 percentage it's not like just i know the retail i know the call, uh, call center i know the focus start from the scratch learn in detail concept once you understand the concept then you configure it then whatever the configuration you have done then you try to execute the output so the output taking checking there is a lot of process so store commerce app, web will check store commerce app will check call center level will check you will see the online omni channel experience so we have the why we are choosing the retail and commerce in sense there is a best feature called as omni channel so i can place the order from the call center i can place the customer order when i'm talking about the customer order it's nothing but the sales order guys in retail terminology will be calling as a customer but 
in generic terminology in FNO, FNO terminology will be calling as a sales order. If you're creating a sales order from the retail channel, that's nothing but the physical channel, you can modify this from the call center. So you might be question, this retail channel is in Hyderabad. Your call center is running from the Mumbai. How it is possible? That is called as an omni-channel experience. That we will discuss going for the session. How the, you're placing order from here, but your order is modifying here. You're placing order from here, but order is dispatching from your here also. You can place the order from online channel. You can pick up the order from the physical store. There are a number of scenarios is there. There are a number of scenarios that we will discuss. Buy online, pick up in the store, or one store or more stores. Buy online, ship from the home, ship to home. Buy call center, pick up in near stores. Buy call center, ship to home. Buy in store, pick up into the other store. So there are a lot of scenarios. There's a omni channel, there's nothing but your cross channel experience. The theoretically, we are not discussing. We'll execute same thing into the system. We'll configure the retail store. We'll configure the call center. Then we'll try to place the order from the online, uh, your physical store. We'll cancel the order from your call center. We'll modify the order from call center. We'll deliver the order from the call center. Those scenarios will discuss in detail so that you will get confidence. Clear guys, there are a lot of things is there. I don't want you to get confused. I am just giving as a high level things. Okay, there are a lot of things. You should be ready for that. It's not like simple as your SCM and your uh, finance concept, learning the purchase cycle, sales cycle, inventory cycle, product cycle, done, no. Here, yeah. each and every concept, if you understand practically, then only you can able to execute. Otherwise, you can't able to move even off stuff also. Everything is interlinked. Clear, guys? Yes. Uh, one question, Uday. So, yes. uh, Omni order, when you were saying Omni order, um, I understanding is a online order, right? Or? No, not only online a... order. Huh. So, let's talk about, see, we here we have the two different stores. Okay. We have one head office. At the same time, we can just say, if you are having the call center also. You are having the call center. Now, you are placing order from the Hyderabad store. Hyderabad yeah, store. Yeah, yeah, I right? got it. I got it. Yes. When you are placing order, if customer is visiting physically, you can place the order. The next time, you are not in Hyderabad. You are in Chennai. But order is still not delivered. But what you are trying to request, Sir, please, could you please change the address to my home address to office address? Then you don't want it to go to the Hyderabad store, right? You can call to the call center. You can give your customer number or like a sales order number. Then you can request to the your shipping address change. So order is placing in one location, but order can be modified here. Order delivery can be modified. Order cancel, order can able to cancel it. The same way. You can place the order from the website. You can place the order from the website. You can expect delivery. That means pick up from the Mumbai store. So you're staying in Mumbai. You have the nearest store as a Mumbai store. You have the nearest store in your home. But you already placed the while placing the order. Instead, before going to the store, I'll place the order from website. I'll directly mm -hmm. go to the store. I'll pick up the order. I will not be waiting into the queue. I will not be waiting into the sometime. I can yes. place the order from website, but pickup is from the store. This so is only called the Omni channel. Yes, so got it. So, uh, so in this case, native integration will come. Native inter yes, interface. Yes, exactly. So native exactly. interface also you are going to give the uh, training to us, right? Native see, bit. there is the connectors. There is mm -hmm. the standard connectors will be there. We'll be showcasing so, how the connectors will be show updated. Okay. You, you, here you don't need to write any single line of code also for need, even the node interface. The only thing right, configuration right. you have to test it. Hmm, hmm. But you will By teach default, us how. Yeah, sorry to uh, again. Please, 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 please. Yeah, please, I'm please, say, please, asking please. that uh, you will going to teach us also how we can make a integrations between one platform like Omni Channel to our uh, store and uh, multiple store or headquarter. So this kind of integration you will, yes. you will keep the item. Okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So if you understand the architecture, right? While doing the architecture yes. discussion, we'll deep discussion. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. what an L component will be backside, how it will be connected. See, now we just mentioned about the data transfer. But With data transfer is not a simple mm-hmm. topic. It is mm-hmm. not a simple topic. Yes, there are a yes, lot yes. of things you have to understand. See, if you're mm-hmm. a CM consultant, you're least bothered about database, right? You've never mm-hmm. seen the databases, right? Finance mm-hmm. consultant or SM consultant or WMS consultant, you're not worried about your database. That is a by default. SQL database is available in back office. But whereas you are retail, right? You should know about there is a databases. HQ have databases, store we have databases, online database, offline database. So, so there is a connector. Yeah. So we have to learn also the basic uh, SQL database also. Nothing, sir. The only okay. thing you should know how the data is stored. Yeah. See, suppose yeah, so if you're, because if we are sending not some so message, technical. not required, yeah. not required, not at all, not at all. Even I'm not required. Even though it's a 12 year read, I <laughs> give, I never write only yeah. only such query I have written, but I never yeah. write any single line of code all. Mm-hmm. Not required, not required. Mm-hmm. But only should know yeah. about what is the backend databases, mm-hmm. how the data is stored. That is the only simple concept. The fear and scariness when it is coming. The question, have you done the technical work? So that is the worry. No, sir, no, not I'm just mentioning that it is not uh-huh. at all required uh-huh. your work. Yeah. Hmm. But you required some network knowledge also. When you're trying to configure your work, your uh-huh. POS missions and network, right? That is a simple concept. It's not like you have to do some R and D or something. You can just spend hmm. at least one hour, then it is easy to learn what is with the HTTP protocols, TCP IP protocols. Right, there is a port numbers will be there. How to check the protocols? Of that that basic information I can I can help you out from the networking part mm-hmm. also. But mm-hmm. technically, it is a zero requirement is available. Mm-hmm. Dual display also we are going to learn. Just to ask. Yes, sir. We Dual see we'll display. configure whatever the things see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Currently, I'm sitting in one location. You are sitting in one location. Whatever right. the possibility is there, right? I can't be able to showcase this particular physical missions, right? Yeah. There is a virtual concept is there, virtual mm-hmm. peripherals. Correct, physical, correct. Virtually, you can able to see the printers, scanners, line display, those things. Whichever it is available as out of box, I can show it. Clear, guys? That's it, guys, uh, from my side. Okay. So I'll try to share the course content. We'll be mm-hmm. detailed discussion about your physical stores, the same thing, physical channels, online channels, call centers, and everything. Each mm-hmm. and every scenario will be detailed discussion in the application level, in the real time scenario. As and when you are getting some doubt or anything, I'm happy to answer your questions. If I'm unable to answer, also I'll try to dig and I'll try to give us into the proper answer in next session, guys. One more question. and one more one more question over there. So we are going to close this call. So uh, AI also will be going to introduce. I mean, going to give any. Uh, you are going to give anything uh, related to AI or. Or AI so will the, not impact. Yeah. Mm. In the commerce, say in the co-pilot for the retail and commerce side, they have given there are some features they have been introduced, but not into the it's still in preview mode only. Mm. But I can I can able to explain you what is the co-pilot will be supporting mm. as part of your retail commerce. It is just an analytical purpose. Ah, I agree, I agree. There are, yeah, there are a lot of rep- yeah. uh, Analytical purpose, you can able to use it. The, yes, there is a demand forecasting is there, refinishment for those kind of activity. This will be helping based on your historical sales, based on your current inventory that will system will be recommending, but not much into the retail perspective. Why? Because retail is majorly is a mm. dip, third party dependency. That means physically someone has to do the sale from the POS mission. It's not like system automatically will do. Correct. <laughs> right? At the same time, Microsoft has been given as a new features called as a self checkout. Without yeah. having the cashiers, still you can able to make the buildings. That will also will cover into the going further sessions. Yeah, I agree with you. Copilot only can help if you have pre-configured things are available. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, one question from myself. Can you hear me? Yes, 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 yes. I can so, hear you. So, uh, anyway, we are going to connect uh, pass with the FNO, correct? Yes, yes. So then, why we need the offline DB? When we are having an FNO which is connected in the background, so what is the actual okay. necessity over there? Okay, okay. Let me just give a simple example. So consider you're running as a Reliance Smart Buzzer. Okay? okay. So currently you have some network issues. You are unable to connect to your FNO application. Okay. You wanted to stop the sale, or you are expecting to perform the sales also, even though it is FNO connection is down. Okay. So this is only because of any failure in the networking. 
correct exactly you exactly wherever your system. network connection is down still mm -hmm. you should not stop the sales if you okay. are not stop the sale how the system has to store the sales okay if your network connection is not available with your online channel database you can't able to say okay i, I don't have internet connection i don't have the network connection i can't able to make this sale right okay. that's why microtel has been introduced as offline concept even though you okay. have the network issues still you can able to perform the sales by using the offline concept Okay. That is that is called as a offline DB. This is an exceptional case. Okay. If you have the proper okay. internet connection. There is no network lags, or like there is no network drop. Still, you are recommend to go for your online only. Okay. So in in my case, whatever what I'm facing is I'm having too much of net uh, bandwidth problem. So uh, you will be doing the offline database like in a pre periodic manner or uh, in a maybe twenty four hours. What would be the case then? Well, it, it, see, it is always depend upon your, see, in offline database, suppose you're running online mm -hmm. database, 100 features, mm -hmm. but this all 100 features will not support your online, the offline database. Why? Because there are some real time checks has to be done from. Let, mm -hmm. Let's me give you a simple example. You have the gift card balance of 100. Okay. Right. You are, you are going to the store one. You are reading the 100, 100, 100, 100 points as 100 rupees as a gift card balance. Okay. Now, currently you have the zero balance with your gift card you are okay. going to the store two and again you are giving the same gift card mm -hmm. if store two having the proper internet connection proper connection with your head office they will check the online balance that's a gift card balance into the real time when you okay. give the gift card system will validate was you have already utilized the 100 points you have the zero balance you can't able to make the payment by a gift card okay. if you are in the online if you are running system offline what system will do System has to connect, mm -hmm. check with the head office, right? This balances. In such cases, you can't able to validate your card balances. You can't able to use your gift card balances. Same thing for your okay. loyalty cards. Same thing for your returns. Okay. Right? Uh, there are features, set of features can be supported only offline. There are set of features can be supported only online. Okay. So, uh, and one more question. So, for example, we are having multiple sales in the offline. Okay, so hmm. we are we are trying to restore the uh, DB uh, every twenty four hours or forty eight hours. Okay, so in that case, uh, can I able to get the real time sales numbers by getting the offline and online uh, by using Power BI or any reports? No, dear. No. See, if you are having the Offline DB means there is no internet connection. There is a, some network Correct. issue. That's why you're using as offline. There is no, Correct. if you're using offline, it will Correct. never ever sync the data into the real time with your FMO. There okay. is a delay. Whenever your network is up, it will not directly connect to your, again, your FNO. There is a concept called as a offline database to online database. Okay. It will sync in between these two databases. Mm -hmm. the, then this database to this database. We will discuss deep discussion to the in detail about how the data is transferred, there is a package mechanism is there, there is a security, there is a package extension. So can we able to modify the data package? Those things we'll discuss going further. But as for your question, no. If it is running in offline, you can't able to see any real-time data from the back office. It is always syncing near real-time mechanism. It has to sync to the channel database. From channel database, it has to sync to the HTDB. It will take some time. It's not like huge time. It will take some time. It is again. It's automatic. Okay. Annually, also you don't want to depend. Whenever internet is up, it will sync to here. Whenever jobs is scheduled, it will sync to here. Okay. Uh, um, last question. So, for yes, example, please. if we have, if you are having more than uh, uh, ten physical stores and e-commerce hmm. and uh, every like e-commerce and uh, call centers. So, hmm. if you want to like uh, get a note of what is the higher selling. Uh, items or what is the higher uh, uh, returning or revenue generating stores, whether it's hmm. e-commerce or uh, whether it is a particular store, can we get a standard report? Anything like yes. this from standard? Yes, yes, we have. We... Yeah, we have the standard reports. Let me just open here. We have the reports from the previous mission also. We have the reports from the back office also. From this are the list of reports where you can able to see the if it is a sales report, right? Top 10 products, okay. category by sales report, top discount report, organization sales report, right? If you wanted to okay. see the channel wise report, staff wise report, if, you, if anyone is modified the price override, you can able to see returns, you can able to see. If you click on channel summary report, 
it will give all three kind of channels physical channels right the same time mm-hmm. here you can able to select it if you are expecting your retail channels you can able to select if you are expecting online channel you can select the online channel information if you are selecting as a call center you can able to so that means with the single report you can able to see all kind of channel reports from specific date to specific date this all is out of based box based on item also correct right? item is separately so this will give us a overall summary if you are going with this into channels right channel summary report right it's a store wise summary report if it is a physical store if it is online store if it is a call center store if you are expecting item wise then you can able to go for the item so again here item also whether you want to go for the quality level whether you want to go for the price level you can able to filter out top 10 reports top 10 products top 20 top 50 top 100 from which channel i wanted to see from physical channel retail channel top 10 products by sales amount or sales quality or gross profit or margin percentage we have the okay. lot of criteria with the help of this criteria you can able to find out this is out of box on top of okay. that if you are expecting some condition you can able to customize it no problem yeah mr uday i have one question to ask you yes dear yes dear please yeah actually when a when a item code i mean like a, there is a article code what we called for no. the product in the e-commerce site right okay article code uh when a person who i mean like a third party i mean like a bda business development mm. associate uh, okay. he's modified prices mm. so that that even the discounts what we have given the discount there is a slab rate mm. right uh, if you modify that we can have a, any alert kind of message that we can get like that i mean like a, there will be a, some slab is there right for that for the price he will override the price and uh, select the price like right? You understand? Got it. Got it. Got it. That means someone is modifying the price, but there is a separate team is there. You wanted to notify this team member saying that this item has been modified. This is the price limit has been changed. Yeah. There is a question. That we that we also do the configuration for that process, right? The limitation, limitation for that price. Um, there is no such kind of limitations, guys. Why? Because see, whoever is configuring, right? will be having the limitation that means you know the prices suppose if i'm putting as a shirt right i can't able to make it as 1 lakh so yeah. there is a purchase price on top of that there is a delivery charges there is a profit margin then you will be applying as a sales price yeah so by out of box we don't have any kind of alerts or like a restriction to you how to do you can able to change up to this price only that there will be a person not... to take care of the discounts or what the prices has been made by the sales people right we we have the feature called as the pos mission let me just give the simple scenario suppose navin has been configured for polo shirt some 1000 is a shirt value this is is been configured to the d365 fno as part of your back office yes, right okay. so whenever you are trying to make the sale from your reliance fashion store or you can just say reliance trends from this store you are trying to make the when you scan this polo shirt automatically price it is showing as a 1000 as a cashier abdul is a cashier consider abdul is a cashier as a cashier what he can do he can do the price override or he can give as a discounts manual discounts he can change to 1100 or he can able to give as a 100 as a discount this kind of features is available but here when abdul is trying to change the price override to 1000 to some 800 we can put the limitation he can give only 10 percentage price change he can give only 10 percent of discount this kind of limitation here we can able to configure it no no uh, actually this is about you talking about the store i'm talking about the in the flipkart i mean in the walmart uh, app there is a field field sales persons are working outside here mm. right there will be some discounts has been given mm. uh, the the expiry of the discounts will be to to till this date i mean like a tomorrow uh, yesterday was a uh, discount price is been over but these people mm. are overwrite that discount price for today so we can check the prices right like that that we can that can be possible that can be possible yeah okay let me just show yes. you Whoever is done yes. the changes also, we can able to track. There is a change called there is a called as into the price tracking. 
So yeah, with the help sure. of the price tracking, right? We can able to track who has modified and we can able to get the detailed report also. Mm -hmm. If any discount yes. has been modified or if there any price is modified, right? We can able to get that report. In the field sales, people have been modified some sometimes because I have Each seen this real time. Tracking is tracking is available. Yeah, yeah, tracking. Yeah, that is that is that is what I've been asking. Yes, yes. This but one. there is no uh, there is no notification is sent into the separate team members. But tracking you can. It will be person will be there sitting for seeing what the price is being made. Yes, that can be possible. Yeah, person. person in my company, there will be one person who's seeing this all this thing. Price yeah. over, right? Who's doing correct prices is giving or not for the product? Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, anyone having any questions, guys? Uh, out of box, uh, uh, sorry, uh, out of question, this is. So, yeah. Uday, how is the market about the retail opening? Uh, will it look fruitful if I go the trending? See, to be frank, right? Currently, combination is mandatory here. It's not like only one module uh, you can't be able to survive into the industry right now. Whoever is part of the retail, right? They must learn about any other modules. Like your combination, always SM is best. If your combination is a finance, is a two best finance with the retail. If you are having the two com module combination, you'll be having the huge demand into the market. Especially mm -hmm. for I can give you some name of I'll give I'll name some companies also. Currently, huge market is for the Accenture. If you are know the two modules as a retail and finance, or retail with your uh, SCM, or retail with AWMS also. Here again, huge demand for the KPMG. Again, huge demand is for your uh, Sonata. Wipro, Techmindra is taking to the huge demand to the retail also right now. Right? Big MNCs, I can say, say, but not with all the companies who are selling to the very uh, medium scale industries, right? They are not using as retail. But big companies, including the ENY, KPMG, PwC, they are into the uh, huge market for retail. If you are combination, right? It is 100%, it is, I can just say, it's a, a different job. Second question is, is, is the classes will be daily basis and how long it the classes will be? Yeah, daily it will be like a one and a half session, one and a half hour session, guys, Monday to Friday, hmm. 8 30 or 8 o'clock. I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll discuss with everyone and individually and I'll give the confirmation under the timing spot. But surely from the 8 or 8 30, there is only two hmm. slots is available, that is the evening slots only. Hmm. Monday to Friday, it's a uh, one or one and a half hour session, minimum it will be 60 minutes or now it will be 90 minutes. I'll not be taking more than that uh, since it is under normal weekdays. Whereas first two weeks, I'll not be taking as a Saturday Sundays. But going for the right after two weeks, once you are familiar with the concept, right? Is mm -hmm. If I'm giving this everything in one shot, you can't be able to resist. With my 12 no. years experience, I can I can give us eight hour sessions also. But you should understand and you have to think, you have to uh, visualize the things also. Mm -hmm. first two things two weeks i'll be taking us into the one or one and a half hour session then i'll be taking as a long hours that's a saturday sundays also it's depend upon your everyone uh, I'll, I'll try to send you some feedback forms everyone is available for the two hour slots or three hour slots then i'll mm -hmm. take that addition but i'll mm -hmm. I'll let you know about one hour one week before only so everyone mm -hmm. should be agreed with the taking session and the uh, saturday sundays if everyone is fine i'll be taking long sessions also but I'm not worried about the number of hours. I'm only worried about the content. Whatever yes. the content I'm promising, at yes, any yes. cost, I'll be delivering. If it is a two months or three months or four months also, I'll be completing this course content. As per the course mm. content, I'll be delivering. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you so much, Bude. We yeah. want this kind of, yes, commitment. Yes. Even uh, what, the commitment to your side as well as our side more. Yeah, definitely. Yes, yes. Would, see, it's yes. mutual here. You see, you are mm. here to learn. My only target, okay. if you are showing much interest, I can dig more and I can able to give a lot mm. of lot you of will, information. You will get you will get a lot of interaction mm. from our side as well as scenarios, real time scenario. The people are working, they are uh, different industries and they will definitely come with the scenarios. And the sure, errors sure, sure. my, my, my only request yeah. you find first you try to understand product first. Ah, Suppose correct. your concept is completed, Will then we can raise the questions. Yes. Uh, we'll raise the question. What see? Mm -hmm. You might be having different set of questions. Other person may be having different questions. Mm -hmm. So combined before completing the topic, right? 
you will forget with the out of box functionality yes. we always focus for out of box once out of yes. box is clear then i'll mm-hmm. try to map your solution to the out of box if it is not feasible okay. then we have to go for some little customizations yes. to achieve it yes yes hmm. Hmm. Okay. so clear thanks, everyone Martin. anyone having yeah, yeah. thanks thank you Guys, be interactive guys. If you are having any question, it's not like there is nothing called, okay, if I'm asking this question, some other people will be thinking different. No, you are here to learn. My only request, you should not worry about any other person. So this is a silly question also. I'm happy to help you. But you try to understand the practical things. It's not like just for namesake, I'm asking question. Practically, how it will work. If, I'm coming up with the, if you are coming up with a different scenario, I'm happy to help you out. We can able to visualize the things and we can able to try to map the solution with the application so since i'm already having the different kind of implementation projects support projects and different kind of industries exposure right i'll try maximum if i'm unable to understand also if i'm unable to answer immediately i will take some time i'll try to study and i'll try to get with your proper and personal answers to give me further sessions clear guys uh, if everyone is Fine, right? I'll try to share you my email ID. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. If you are having any questions, right, you can contact me over the mobile also. You can able to contact the chat also. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. I'm really sorry it's been extended for ten minutes. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.